Hey YouTube, what's good? It's Sky. We have waited so long to review this flavor and to try it. And here it is here today. I will let you guys know, I'm pretty, pretty positive. The tub itself, if you didn't get the chance, or if you just didn't cop this tub, it should be restocking this Thursday, Thanksgiving. So keep an eye out if you want to try this flavor, if you didn't cop it. But here is the Honeyberry Banjo Kazooie collector's box with the U2s. I don't think people understand the real reason this took so long. And it's without a doubt it has to be because of the U2s figure. Because these take very long. Long, long time. I literally collect U2s and it takes a long, long time. Because they come from overseas and they come by boat. That is why it takes so long. I literally honestly got, not including this one, I got five separate boxes with U2s in them today. So I think they travel together. So in case you were curious why this took so long, like a couple months late or something like that, I'm pretty sure that's why. Just so you know, don't get mad. <laughs> but here's the back of the box. Here's the top. Here's the bottom. And I think these, I'm pretty sure these boxes are shorter and longer because of the U2s and there's no shaker cup in them. So we've had one of these before. Actually have boop up there, but it has a longer flap over the tub. And I'm betting there's lots of people that didn't even give two craps about this U2, which is fine, but it's gold is cool. I guess if you don't collect U2s, you're probably like, eh, it's a thing. It's nothing G Fuel related, but I collect pops, so that's going to go with my pops. And we also have a sticker in here of the gold banjo kazooie, so that's lit. My throat is so dry, I cannot wait. <laughs> okay, I do get kind of sad that we don't get shaker cups, but you know I don't need any more shaker cups. I really don't. But here is the Honeyberry tub itself, inspired by Banjo-Kazooie. Here is, once again, what the Funko looks like. I'm going to take it out so you guys can see it, because I, I take my Funkos out. But I keep all the boxes in case I ever do want to sell them. So they have their boxes. Here are the supplement effects as well. Also has U2's collectibles branding right there so i mean the energy focus endurance reaction that's nothing special it's what it usually is and if you were curious this is just honey and berry <laughs> and it's our first legitimate flavor that has honey in it so i'm curious what i'm going to think of this flavor and what other people think mr ehoff did his review today. I don't think it's uploaded yet. And then I know Shock did his already as well. Of course. Do a smell test and then I'll open the Funko. Or the, the Funko. Oh my god. The U2s. I hope I didn't call it Funko before. It just kind of smells like powder. Okay. So here is the, and they all come with sleeves if you didn't know that. Um, I'll show you the sleeve. There's the sleeve, kind of like a dust cover. But here is the front of the box here. There you got the top, the bottom. It says, I'm Banjo on this side. And there's side view. And then on the back, it says Banjo and Kazooie are always getting swept up in adventure, whether it's making noise or stopping the sinister Gruntilda. So, I will. I might not open that right now. I'll just get this going. It'd be nice if they were adding this tub to the BOGO, but I don't know if they're gonna be doing that. That'd be nice if they did add it to the BOGO. Then I could cap this tub just so I have a spare. And then also the new Sour PewDiePie. But. I honestly don't think that will sell out. I don't know, actually. 
I actually don't know. Okay. I'm using this doodle shaker with a thing on it. I don't know. I thought it'd look good with whatever color this is going to be, which is like a kind of like a hive nectar yellow type color, right? <laughs> Let me get this shaken up. Okay, so before I show you the U2s, it also says, have we finished now? Can I relax on the inside lid? Because every U2s has something that either the creator or just something from the game or show, something like that. And then here is the you dudes right there. I know it's kind of hard to like see it all because it's literally chrome, but yeah, this <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna focus very well, but it is pretty dope. You can't see that right there, but I like when the U2s have a big base so they don't topple over because some of my U2s have a very small legs. <laughs> All right, let's give this a smell now. Interesting. I wonder what type of berry this is. Let's go ahead and see if honeyberry is good after this long, long wait. Let's get it. <laughs> well, what am I even tasting right now? The only thing that I'm coming to mind that I can say about this right now is that it's smooth. But also a little watery. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's not a bad flavor. It's kind of refreshing. But... I still feel like I would compare this to frickin' Hive Nectar, even though that doesn't have any honey in it, and it's tangerine and not any sort of berry. But for some reason, mouthfeel, it's just reminding me of that end color, I guess. So I don't, it's just, my brain doesn't really work the best that it should sometimes, so. I'm not saying if you like Hive Nectar, you'll like this, because they're completely different flavor profiles, okay? So, so don't think if you love Hive Nectar that you're going to necessarily love this flavor. But it doesn't, it's not as, as wow, I guess, as I was expecting it to be. It might be the berry that's throwing me off. If you guys know what kind of berry this actually is supposed to be, you can let me know, because it doesn't even... I don't think... It just says honey and berries. It doesn't tell me what kind of berry. <laughs> I don't think that this is as... I, I'm gonna be real, I didn't think this was gonna be like the best flavor ever by any means. Because when I just hear the word berry, I think of just phase berry, berry bomb, which is what it's called now. Um, I just think of that berry. And if I could pick one berry from that, probably pomegranate, then, uh, that's like, it's like, I don't know. Because if you guys don't know, I hate face berry. I hate that flavor so much. I'm going to buy berry bomb, which is great, but I want the tub. But, but this is okay. This is fine. This is gonna have to be a flavor that I have to have a few more times before I can really get a grip on if I like it or not. Um, it is decent. I think I would give it a 7.5 because it's not gross. It's just, it's a little too light for me. It's not, like, for how long that we waited for this, it's not, like, it didn't, I don't know, it doesn't, it didn't, the more recent flavors we've had, it doesn't blow any of those out of the water, which sucks, but I hope, <laughs> I'm assuming other people are going to like this, but it's just too light, it's too light, I don't know if I'd want it to have more honey or berry, probably more honey, 
which is weird, but... I don't know. It's not, like, overly sweet for me, or super fruity, you know? It's just kind of a flavor. It kind of just tastes like flavored water. <laughs> Which is essentially what G-Fuel is, just with caffeine and a whole bunch of other stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I had Divine Peach right before this, because that's what I had this morning. And I had just finished it. Um, and, like, the comparison of the flavor profile and the robustness of that taste compared to this, this one's just not even close. So, I don't know. I think if you were interested in honey and berries, you'll probably like this. I cannot really directly compare it to any flavor because I literally just can't think of any at all. <laughs> so, let me know if you've received your flate, your collector's box, let me know what you think of it. Let me know if I'm just if I just need to have it some more times. Maybe it'll be good as a mixer too. I don't know. But if you're interested in this flavor because you didn't manage to get it the first time, it should be restocking this Thursday, the 24th, Thanksgiving. So I don't know. It's 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 all right. I feel like since this is we've waited so long for this flavor, and because like don't have much else on the horizon except at this moment grandma's apple pie because bought that earlier today i don't know let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below why not but yeah <laughs> if you guys would like me to let you know if you haven't made any bogo purchases what i highly recommend um if you're in the u.s 100 percent this is now your time to cop ice shatter. Just please do it if you've never had it before. <laughs> I would not recommend it, Grandma's apple pie unless you really are curious about the flavor. I don't know. <laughs> um, I, other than ice shatter, uh, well, I do. I'm really starting to like Divine Peach, but I would definitely wait until they put out that new Divine Peach tub because that looks absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And any of the Lemonade ones, Shiny, well, not Spicy Demonade, but Shiny Splash, Hype Sauce, Electric, uh, well, what's it called? Electric Strike. Or Watermelon Limeade. And the uh, Unstable Portal Fluid. Limeades, Lemonades, all that, highly recommend. You can also watch Shock's new video he posted if you haven't made your purchase yet and you really want to cop some G Fuel. So, yeah. And if you are a true member of the Sky Gang, <laughs> I do plan on dyeing my hair in the future, but I will probably wait until we hit 2,000 subs, which we're about 140 away, so not too far off. I'm going to dye my hair pink, so. But I'm going to wait until we get there, so. Make sure you're telling your friends if they like G Fuel. I don't know. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Don't forget to check the links down in the description. Follow me on the socials. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my content from me. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.